Hey guys, today I am Tushar Jain and I am gonna unbox the Redmi, latest Xiaomi Redmi 2. So I just got it delivered from Flipkart. See this is the packaging and uh, now I am gonna unbox it for you guys. So let's start opening the package. As you can see, Flipkart has done really good job at uh, packaging the box. There is absolutely no signs of damage to the phone. And uh, they have packed it in the bubble wrap. Let me just open this thing up. Or let me just cut it down. Okay, that was a really sticky package, but it's a good packaging. Let's just get rid of that stuff and this and this. Okay, so now we have the Xiaomi Redmi 2 in our hands. Fairly neat job at the packaging and uh, it's sealed intact. Also, there is no special kind of packaging, only the eco green packaging, which is a signature feature of Xiaomi. So let's just cup to open this plastic cover. Okay, it's quite. Uh, okay. Okay. So let me just open the box. Looks quite delicate though. Okay, it's not opening because of the seal. Let me just cut off the seal. Okay, peeled off the seal. Let me just get it open for you guys. Okay, so as you can see. This is the Xiaomi Redmi 2. This is the first look. Mm, impressive. Let's keep the phone side for a few seconds. Okay. See, there is the user manual for the phone. And let me just open it. There is the user guide, it says thank you for choosing Redmi 2 and there are tutorials for inserting memory card and removing the back cover and blah 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 all the usual stuff and there is some manual in English too and declaration by Xiaomi and this is all stuff in Chinese and yes there is a English uh, version also which is related to the limited warranty. Okay, let me just get rid of the stuff and uh, look what's more in the box. Okay. So, uh, as I see, there is the standard usual charger in the box. And uh, it says Xiaomi adapter and output is 0.5 volts or 1000 milliamperes. Okay, there's the standard charger for this is the Indian version, so it's definitely for the Indian plugs and the USB cable. Okay, let me just open it up, and there is the USB cable. Okay, see, this is the standard micro USB cable and one thing i want to say is no xiaomi logo on the cable 
maybe it's a stand definite or a feature by the Xiaomi. Okay, now let's just uh, get rid of the stuff and uh, insert the battery and power up the phone. So here's the battery. See, there's the battery's orange in color and there's a Mi logo at the bottom. The battery version is BM44 and it's a battery of 2200 mAh. We just clear up the stuff here. And let's start the. Mm. The phone, I must say, feels quite premium in the hand. Let me just open it. It's back cover. Okay, the volume rocker and the power buttons are attached on the back cover. So, no back cover means the phone cannot be operated. Okay, the phone is quite light in weight and uh, feels quite premium. Okay, the pa this has been co camera has been covered. Okay, let me just power on the phone. Okay, the phone is powering up. It says the standard Mi logo is there. First boot can take a lot of time for some phones. Let's see how it goes for Xiaomi. Okay, it says powered by Android. Okay, so it came pre installed uh, with the MI UI 6, which is the standard feature again. We just select the language English United States. Okay, the phone just powered up. Uh, let's start setting up the phone and get you a hands on review of the phone. Okay, I selected the language English United States. Okay, it's asking me to select the location. I see that the global room has been installed on the phone. And it says that if you want to change your location later on, you'll need to reset your device to its factory settings. So I think uh, we must select the right location so as to avoid complications in future. Let me select India. Go. Okay, it's giving me a warning for selecting the location. I'll ignore the warning and select OK. Looks like it's gonna take a while for setting the location. Okay, so location has been set up and it's asking me to choose a default keyboard for the phone. It's a Swift key, Google keyboard, Pinion input and Flesh key came pre-installed. Okay, my favorite one is Swift key, so I'll go with it. I'll click next. It's asking me to choose a Wi-Fi, I'll skip it for now. Okay, yeah, terms and conditions. Okay, yes, I agree. Okay, checking for SIM card. I have powered on the phone without a SIM card. So, maybe it's gonna take a while to check for a SIM card. Okay, yes. Uh, continue. I'll continue without a SIM card. Skip the Google account settings. Okay, I'll turn, leave that location on. And user experience program. It's a, a program run by Xiaomi to help users leave feedback for them. I'll leave it. Okay, yes, Google's concern, yes. Okay. It says uh, loading the launcher. Okay. See, this is the first look of the phone. And uh, I must say, it looks quite neat. Okay, the Flipkart app and the Facebook and the WPS Office apps uh, came pre installed on the phone, which is quite good. And they have partnered with Flesky and the Swiftkey and have provided the necessary apps. Okay. Okay, let's begin and get you a hands on review of the phone. Okay, so what are the apps here? Let me just show you the dialer interface. 
you can see it is the standard Xiaomi interface swipe right for contacts and uh, recents and uh, here goes the dial pad okay one thing I wanna show you is the T9 dictionary it means you can not only find the numbers through this you can also find the contacts by typing the names in the alphanumeric ranges okay one thing I quite miss is the capacitive buttons I don't have lights so they might not be visible uh, in the darkness though okay but seriously the phone looks amazing for a budget device and uh, looks quite snappy let me test how the brightness is brightness is quite good no problem will be there while reading the phone screen in sunlight okay let me just okay what okay so here's the security app okay good it's a built-in cleaner battery saver virus scan data usage block list permissions you can decide the auto start permissions and uh, the permission to read contacts and telephony state whatever you can configure it all in here and uh, this is the menu button or it can be set as the recents button okay the folder good it came with play store pre-installed which is a good thing it has built-in themes you can select it once we connect to the internet and it came with full set of gaps the play music maps chrome gmail youtube google plus photos hangouts voice search playbooks drive and the play movies play games and all the stuff is in there okay let's go into settings and uh, view bout phone so it says that it's based on 4.4.4 android okay which is not the latest but uh, it's manageable okay and it has uh, 1 gb of ram and 1.2 gigahertz quad core cpu based on the MIUI 6.3.5 stable and the global version because this is the Indian version of the phone and uh, the status okay various stats about the phone okay model number it says Hong Me 2 LTE it's because it's a 4G phone so it's LTE and built in QR code scanner good quite nice for a budget phone and it does not feel not does not feel cheap and it has a built-in light mode uh, for senior citizens which can simplify the home screen and functions okay it has sound okay good and does not have NFC though so you'll have to rely on maybe other apps for uh, transferring things between phones and additional settings and let's go into storage it has about 5.75 GBs of storage in total of which 4.62 GBs is available around a GB or more is consumed by the pre-installed apps and stuff okay so this is what I was talking about that the menu button can be changed to recent apps tray or menu you can consider con uh, configure the long press functions of all the buttons and yes you can check this option disable power button menu on lock screen it would be helpful uh, in it to prevent the phone switching off in the pocket or maybe some other person who doesn't know the lock code of your phone ca cannot switch off the phone without unlocking it okay and it has accessibility features uh, no I don't need a screen reader captions magnification ge gestures good and the font display date and time good. 
you can set up your me account in there and uh, add it option for sync okay let's go and see the gallery okay the gallery looks quite good okay let's see the music interface yes the music interface is also quite good you can listen to the local music your favorites options to create playlist okay I haven't loaded any songs on the phone currently okay the browser is yes, the browser looks quite good let's see the camera no thanks